Um, so the final part of this uh, traditional section are these uh, valleys. So like I was saying in the other video, we're using the timbers that were meant for the hips. Uh, then <clears throat> now going to be laboured and then we'll bring timbers down here and then the ladder end will come all the way down. So first job is to find the seat cut on this. So on the drawing, you can literally see the pitch of that roof. So the pitch of the roof is, what was it, 31.5. So you minus that off 90 and that will give you the seat cut. So what is it, 58 point, 58 and a half. I'll show you now. So this main bit of roof, you see that there? 31.5 and then the back section is 45 so it literally tells you your degrees so we need this roof here because we're bringing the rafters in on top of that so we want the angle of this roof so we know our seat cut is 58.5 um, you can work that out by the way just with a level and your square but if you've got it in writing there you just quickly minus that off 90 and that's your seat cut and all we need to do then is find the backing angle but what we'll do, we'll just cut one, the small one, with a turkey uh, rocked over at 40 degrees and we'll just try it. Because we've got nothing really to compare it to. You could put, bring a timber down and get your sliding bevel on it, but we'll just cut a small one at 40 degrees and just see where we're at. I haven't mentioned how we set this label up, but we literally just put a level over the top of the rafters there and across there and just sighted it down to this so it, it's always to the top point on a roof so it's always like to that not to the back edge or anything like that it's just to the highest point so you've got to make sure that edge lines through with the plane of that roof and that's how you get that on and then that can be nailed in So we've ended up just putting a seat cut on that um, because it was right where the fucking gang nail was. So there's no point trying to put a nice cut on it because it's all getting stitched in. Then it gets a stud, then it gets bricked up, so it's fine anyway. So we cut that off to length and bang that plastic on it. This already will get it lifted up and then put some props across and maybe one off the floor for now. <coughs> so we'll do that now. So as you can see from that last video, we just checked with the level up to check the soffit was right. That ladder ends flat that way. And we put a straight edge across the top of them to the other trusses and propped it up there now. So it's right all the way across and right for the brickwork. And now what we'll do is build this stud underneath and then that will need plywood in and vapor barrier on because there's not going to be block work here. So that'll be instead of the block work.
So that's all done now, studs in. So now we just need to ply it and vapor barry, but I won't bother recording that. And I've just stitched the studs all into the trusses, as well, uh, the rafters as well. So it ties it all in and the ply will just finish it off. So yeah, that's to act as the cavity and then the brickwork will carry on from that point onwards. Yeah, and then we'll just go and fill the valley in on the other side now. Um, so we've done the other side, done this side, it's all done now. I uh, forgot to say, we'll wait for the brickwork to go up here and we'll nail the timber to the side of the brickwork to catch the soffit on this bit down here. So we can't quite do that yet. Uh, but yeah, that's everything today. And we need to put uh, some clips on the top of them rafters because the building inspector wants to see them. Um, yeah, that's it. And the next job really is the ladder on there and the plastic.